Welcome to another one of our Bluebeam Me Up How To Tutorials. Brought to you by Brighter Graphics Limited. Where we show you how to maximize the potential of your investment in Bluebeam Review. Brighter Graphics are the oldest established Bluebeam partner and your premium Bluebeam solutions provider. Let's get started. In this video, we are going to show you how to Use Dynamic Fill. Dynamic Fill can help you select irregular areas and create multiple markups at once. The fill allows you to cover large or complex selections of a drawing and create a shape selection that can then be converted to a polygon markup, a space, or variety of measurement markups. For example, area measurement, space, polygon, perimeter. Making your takeoff process far more efficient. Just create a boundary, fill in the selection and choose the markup you want to make. To begin using Dynamic Fill. In the menu bar go to, Tools. Then, Measure, and select Dynamic Fill. A floating toolbar will appear. Click on the, Settings, icon. This allows you to edit the properties of the fill and boundary tools you will use to select the area. You can change the size of the boundary, to match the drawing as much as possible. From here you can also change the fill size. Select how fast the fill spreads. And the colors of the fill. And boundary. You can also determine the edge sensitivity which tells the fill where to stop. Be it at the thin lines. Or thicker lines. Adjust the parameters to your liking. If your drawing contains openings. Like the one in this example. Use the boundary tool to close it off. Double click to finish the boundary. Select the fill tool, and then fill in the area. With the area filled you now need to choose which markups to create. You can create a space, polygon markup, area measurement, polylength measurement, perimeter measurement, volume measurement, or any combination of those. You can click on an option. And it will highlight to indicate it is selected using the default properties of that tool. You can click on the down arrow to choose what properties are applied. Make sure the markups you want to create are highlighted in the dynamic fill toolbar. Click Apply. If a space is created, it can be seen in the Spaces tab. And the appropriate markups in the markups list. Thank you for watching. We hope you found the video useful. You can visit our website, www.brightergraphics.com, for more videos in the how-to series and all things Bluebeam Review. We at Brighter Graphics, welcome your feedback to help us to improve.